your memory shift to shining finger automatically be renewed feel about what she wanted and she's pleased with herself she'll surely focus you can now browse danger you and visit jc elton's okay weren't you gonna have curry yesterday a ghost took my money okay best boss Oh, uh, viewer discretion. There is a chance that some of the language will be fairly strong. I will censor it as much as I can because it's not part of my normal diction to use such language. So, But if it strictly deviates from the, a certain character or how they act, then I will endeavor to read them out as appropriately as I can. Okay? Anywho. Welcome and enjoy the ride. Wednesday, December 14th. Good evening. Oh, it's Dana. Hey, Joe. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> this is a sound you don't hear every day. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came by yesterday. She left it and, well, she forgot to take her helmet. I figured she'd eventually come back looking for it, so I left it under the count. Wait, do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan to evaluate, ev plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You, you sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool. And comfortable and cool and really, really cool. I mean, it is a good looking helmet. <laughs> Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, traffic was... Ah! <laughs> Don't run away. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple days. If she somehow relaxed now, good. Are things all set? Yep. All right. Okay, uh, I don't know if this has any meaning to it, so I'm just gonna pop some random tunes. Okay. Time to mix drinks and chat. He, I do, I'm gonna assume you. Oh, Miss Kim. Because of you, I you got up late and lost a full day of work. And on the day, everyone got a nifty assignment too. Wait, because of me? You were the one that got me drunk and made me fall asleep. Like a goddamn log. So you arrived home safely. That's nice. That's all you have to say? What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But, true, morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk. But getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. And I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol you could handle, didn't I? I... Ah. Seriously, what kind of answer is that? Uh, hello, Mr. Donovan. Do I know you? 
Hey, bruh. You're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. Mr. Donovan likes a beer. I'm gonna be really bad at this game if um, they expect me to remember everyone's preferences. I'm just gonna get him a big beer and see how well that goes. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here you go. Yeah, now this is what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too, how did that come about? And there's this gal performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday? I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather wor work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. The, fa the fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Okay. You see where everyone's minds are at. <laughs> We've come a long way uh, in the department of Lilim's sex appeal, I tell ya. She was a Lilim then. I'm going to assume, okay, yeah, I'm gonna assume she's one of those service machines, at very least. Anyways, yeah, one of those new fancy king class CH1A models. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out that myself. Hmm. Hey you. The guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah you. Do I know you? No, I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? Uh, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You looked like the guy who owes me a drink. Y you were in those rights, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some kind of anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicon business. So, I was in Hong Kong, talking with some investors, when those damned riots broke out. Seriously, though. Did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. That's surprisingly fitting today. No matter how many they have different capabilities, you put in between... Uh, they have different capabilities. You put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation, like that, you're doomed. 
This is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. No, oh, this guy's voice is going to kill me. Why is he here again? That's a very laconic way of looking at, of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a lot of political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a development stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry man uh, maniacs was a key factor in those plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... Mm, on second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get a full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I was out, <laughs> when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all of that. Yeah, scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without a scholarship, there would have been a language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised how easy uh, Chinese could be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some puzzle-faced pencil neck. And I wasn't going to allow myself to be seen as with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, oh my god, two weeks. Goodness gracious. Maybe spoken. Spoken, maybe. Reading, writing, maybe not. Maybe the generic stuff. I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Well, in Hong Kong it would be Cantonese, right? Yeah, there we go. Wait, when you say Canton uh, Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine, Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word and not often of the spoken. It's important to clarify because there's a lot of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so you just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese not because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong, and I managed to seal the deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways. Surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Marblast too, right? <clears throat> sure. On it. A Marblast, huh? Blended. One, two, three, four, five, six. Powder Delta. Carmotrine. That's it, right? Six, wait. We got six of that. We have one of that. We need four of this. And two Carmotrine and all blended. One, two, three, four. Five, six. There we go. Here. All right. I guess I'll believe your story. All right. So, I'm a bit interested in this interview you had. Can you tell me anything about it? You don't run any blogs, right? No microphones hiding between your breasts? That probably didn't fix anything that... Anyways... Oh, come on. <laughs> do you have boobs at all? <clears throat> There's this one blog I wrote when I was 12, but it just fills me with shame, so I try to forget it exists. Okay, then. It started with the same boring questions. How are you? Why you chose this place? How's the city? The tour? New single? Blah, blah, blah. 
it went by very quickly. It was a regular interview stencil, as we call it in the business. So I tried to have some fun questions afterwards. I'm not doing his voice anymore, it's killing me. <laughs> All right. So, how big are your tits? Is it true that you don't wear underwear on stage? Are you still a virgin? Those are gonna get me flagged by the system, but oh well. And uh, how does she react? She answered them like it was the most natural thing on earth. I don't think I wanna know what kind of questions other people have asked. I did it to get a reaction out of her, but she just took it and stride. Hmm. In case you were interested, the answers were 91 centimeters, depends on the costume, and no. I see. Her room backstage was filled with, to the brim with gifts of all sorts. Dolls, blue roses, chocolates, fruit. I'm pretty sure I see at least three toys in there too. Thanks for that info, I guess. Perhaps too much info, but thanks anyways. <laughs> You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview, and it and it must be posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to be, it happened last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it. But for fu some fucking reason, she e just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? What did you have? To, did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure thing. Oh, yeah, this seems like his kind of drink. I think he would appreciate a big one. Uh... Here. Yeah, this works just fine. Man. That gal's producer was angry. Trying to negotiate with him was a hassle. I've had less problems dealing with SoCal Justice Warriors. So, Southern California? Mm. Who? SoCal Justice Warriors. That mafia vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. Oh yeah, those artificially blonde, artificially tanned folk with big, blunt objects. Yeah. They're an interesting group, you know. They only accept people born and raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive too. Too many outlets have insulted them in the past, so they are trigger happy against defamation. I've had a dozen guys in Speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. And they, and they were still more polite than that producer guy. Thinking about it, watching a banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries was more pleasant. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure there's a banana hat. Uh, there's a banana hammocks and bag of batteries audience somewhere, though. Well, I'm out. Thank you, and please come again. Yeah, yeah. That was... tiring. Hey, Jill. I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, can't take the helmet off. Yeah, yeah, 
are very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie type uh, white knight helmet. It's not precisely a common query, you know. I could break it, but don't want to damage the client's property. What, did you run out of air? I just realized you s just you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. Ah! <laughs> Don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air in this with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard the chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend? More, more, more importantly, will the chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. <laughs> 